Today I'm going to show you how to create spatial distribution map using interpolation techniques. First you have to import shape files of your desired location. If you don't have the folder connection you can use this icon to connect your folder. Now I'm going to import my shape file. Yes, the shape file has been imported. Uh, interpolation actually predicts values for cells in a raster from a limited number of sample data points. Uh, it can be used to predict unknown values for any geographic point data such as elevation, rainfall, chemical concentration or noise levels, etc. You can use any kind of a data uh, by using this map. Now I'm going to show you the data which I'm going to use in this tutorial. Because you have to know how to arrange or how to prepare your data for this analysis. I have the data of evapotranspiration for my country for 15 stations with their coordinates I mean the longitudes and latitudes you have to arrange this data by this format now I'm going to import my data points here as the points has been imported now I'm going to display the coordinates X field should be longitude and Y field should be latitude. Now the data points have been imported here. You can change the shapes of the points. I've just selected the round shape and selected red as the color. Open the arc toolbox. It may take some time to open. Open the spatial analyst tools and you have to go interpolation techniques. There are multiple number of interpolation techniques like IDW, Craigin, nearest neighbor, spline, etc. And There have some differences between the IDW and Krieging, which is actually based on the topography or the geographic location. Now in this tutorial I'm going to use IDW which actually means inverse distance weighted function. Now first select the CSV file as input point features. I don't know why it's taking time. Yes, you have to feel the jet value which you actually want to show in this in your map or the value you, you actually want to show the distribution or processing extent should be your star area. And you have to select the raster analysis and mask your shape file. Uh, for the spatial distribution okay oh I found the error if your system show this problem don't worry there is a solution exit your open CSV file and set your environment before going to conduct the analysis. Now I'm selecting my environment before conducting my analysis and it can be a solution uh, for this error.
Okay, I think uh, now it will be solved. IGW actually determines cell values using a linearly weighted combination of a set of sample points. The weight is a function of the inverse distance between them. The surface should be that of a locationally dependent variable. The measured data are closest to the unmeasured locations that have the most influence. I mean, that have the most influence values. Okay, the analysis is running background so we have to wait to show the results yes uh, I, fi I found the initial results from the IDW method you can use the stressed or classified uh, I'm going to use the stressed values from this analysis Okay, the spatial analysis have been done. Oh, I, th I, I, I think I need to change the shape file because uh, in next I want to show the counter lines in this spatial analysis map. Therefore, I need to change the shape file actually I don't want lines in the maps so oh, I think I should use only the country shape file that would be a solution of this yes, I think this will be the solution Now I'm going to show the contour lines in the spatial analysis map. Just open the search toolbox and write contour in search box. And open the contour from spatial analysis tool. Yes. The contour interval actually depends on your values because as I have the maximum value of 4.18 approximately and the lowest value was 3.42 that's why I think 0.2 will be the appropriate value uh, for this analysis or it depends on your uh, criteria. Okay, 0 0.2 would be the perfect for me. The contour line actually shows which areas have the similar values and it clusters it clusters the areas from the shape file with the similar values. I'm changing the color of the contours. Okay, now I'm going to show you another counter with an uh, interval of 0 0.1 which will show you more classes than before. Yeah, so I think uh, 0 0.2 will be the perfect interval for me.
now you have to level the values which are actually clustered in the map or which which counter mark has the similar values so label field will be the counter change your font size okay now the counter lines is showing the numbers or showing the values of evapotranspiration for my desired location now I'm doing um, the typical map properties including legend inputting the coordinates inputting uh, the scale bar or the north arrow right now which is one of the most important criteria for map design so follow the video for creating the distribution map you can use this type of map for any analysis or if you want to use or if you want to explain the noise levels pollution or any other chemical characteristics for your desired location I think this video is for you it is showing how to create a map of spatial distribution using IDW method you can use the use the Krieging and there are there is there are some differences between IDW and Krieging method Some scientists actually recommend Krieging, which is generally precise than IDW but requires certain expertise and acquaintance with a topographic situation. A core assumption of Krieging is that spatial correlation within the area is changing. Use Krieging if there is a spatially correlated distance or bias in the data. Or you can use a simply IDW method because it is more simpler than any other interpolation technique. The IDW actually determines cell values using a linearly weighted combination of a set of sample points. You can calculate it mean errors or RMEC of each method and com compare them. I will explain in my next video where you have to use the IDW and where you have to use the Krieging or nearest neighbor method for your interpolation technique. As RDW interpolation is one of the simplest and most popular interpolation techniques for continuous variable modeling, I have used uh, this method in this video. the map has been created the only thing I need to input is the coordinates on the map
Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe my channel to keep updated.